Okay, people, I'm up here for another cooking video, and I am going to make some spaghetti, but it's not going to be with um, your regular pasta spaghetti noodles. It is going to be with this spaghetti squash, and this is going to be my first freaking time doing this. Okay. First of all, let me get a little adjustment going on here. Okay. Now, a customer told me at the store, at my job, okay, on how to do this squash. So, I got this squash, okay, and he told me to get some parchment paper, nonstick, okay, and um, I had to stop at um, Walmart because... I forgot to get the uh, paper because I don't have any and I also forgot to put my uh, set my meat out I don't know what I'm doing I have no clue I'm trying to open this okay there's a clue so we're gonna open this and um, I forgot to put the meat out and let the meat thaw so I just bought and it was turkey meat by the way but what I'm doing this right here is gonna be ground beef so Either way, it doesn't uh, make any difference. So here's the parchment paper, and I'm going to tear some off. And I'm going to tell you exactly what he told what he told me. I'm going to put it. Now this is a pizza tray, okay? Uh, do I have another tray? I probably do, but we're going to use the pizza tray because he said a flat cookie sheet. Close enough. Okay, then he told me we're going to take this off. Okay, and he told me to cut it at each end. Okay, so I'm going to cut. Ah, ooh. Okay. The struggle is real, folks. So that's what it looks like on each end. And then he said to cut it down the middle. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I'm going to cut it down the middle. Okay. This is what it looks inside and he told me to clean all this out. So I'm going to clean it out. Anyway, I'm going to put it face flat down. Okay. I think that was the hardest part of the video, I swear. But I can see, see, okay, the little strings, they're starting to come out. And this is the part he said, okay, that's how it, 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 it's, uh, it's made, stringy-like, okay? So I'm going to turn that down, okay? And, um... But that's what we're doing, and we're going to put it on the oven. I already have my oven, my oven heated on 350. Okay. Bake for uh, 30 or 40 minutes, okay? Meanwhile, we're going to come over here, and we are going to uh, create... We're going to go and create the sauce. Now, I am doing this from scratch. And what I'm going to do is I have got my onions cut up and I am going to um, saute them. With butter. I use real butter.
Now I'm hoping to freeze the um, squash, but I wanted to cook it first. So I want to, after I cook it, I want to freeze some of it so I can have it for later. I also want to do the same with the sauce. Okay, here's what I, I chopped up some garlic cloves. Okay, I hope you can see that. And this is what it's looking like. My onions are still sauteing and I threw the garlic in there to saute it with it. Okay, I am using this can of tomato sauce. Okay, just your great value Walmart brand tomato sauce or any tomato sauce. I don't use tomato paste. Okay. So, we're just going to open this so we can get ready because it doesn't take long to do this. Because all you're really going to do is wait for the meat to brown. You know how to make spaghetti sauce, okay? So, Going to open this up. I'm only opening up one big can because I didn't, I did not end up cooking that log of um, turkey meat. So I'm just going to use this. So this is about half, maybe a, a little less than half. Okay. And um, we're going to put it in there. We're going to let that cook. I'm also going to put my try uh, bell peppers right here. I'm going to put all this in there too. Okay. Throw this stuff away. Now I like to put a lot of garlic in my um, spaghetti sauce. Now when I do chili, I don't. I may put a little bit, you know, a pinch or two of garlic powder in my chili. But in my spaghetti, I load it up with garlic. Okay, people, my meat has cooked. Let's check it out. There it is. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the, um, my pot right there. We're going to add the, um, sauce, the tomato sauce. my seasonings okay I'm gonna get a little water because that's what I do to get the rest of the tomato sauce out of the can oh yeah doesn't water it down unless you use a whole big old can then yeah I'm going to rinse off this spoon because I'm going to use the same spoon to measure with. Not that I'm measuring, but I'm going to season to taste. Okay. Now, I have right here some Italian seasonings. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought the spoon was a little too big. Okay, so I'm just going to put a tablespoon. That should be enough. I'm going to add a little parsley flakes. That's what they look like. Now, I don't have any oregano. Okay. And I'm going to go in with a little pepper. Not too much. Just a little bit. About maybe that much. Okay. We can always add more. And you're just going to season it to taste. You don't have to go by what I'm doing. You can use your own ingredients if you like. I think I'm going to go in with a... Um, crushed tomatoes. That's what I got right here. Open this can and put them in there. Popped all over the place. Okay, there we go. going to add some butter because I always add butter to my sauce. Seems to top it off really good. Another thing I also add to my sauce is Italian salad dressing. A lot of people don't believe me but it, 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 it will give your spaghetti that kick that you need and it will be delicious. But I don't have any. So, 
we're going to put the top on and we're going to let that simmer. And I'm just curious to know how the squash is coming out. So I am going to find a... Um, and see what this looks like. Oh, my space is so limited. Yeah, it still needs to cook though. Okay. So we're going to put it back in there, let it finish cooking. It smells like, um, it reminds me of yams. So I'll be back and we'll see uh, how this is going to look when it finishes up. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, people, here it is. I hope it's done because I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo -wee! That came out. Look at that. Just like spaghetti. Okay, so I'm going to put some on my plate. Let's see how I get it out because I've never done this before. Oh, look at that. It just comes out like spaghetti. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's why they call it spaghetti uh, squash. Okay, so um, I am going to, uh, whew. let me see, put some more out there. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to fix it up just like I would um, regular spaghetti. Okay. <clears throat> Got my sauce all in here. Oh yeah. And I am going to top it off. I think I'm getting sick coming down with something because <clears throat> that oh sheesh. What was that? The back of my throat is sore. Okay, folks, there we have it. And I am going to put um, Parmesan cheese. Not the kind you shake on, but this kind of shredded. Now, mind you, this is my first time too now. See how this goes. I'm gonna let y'all know if it's good or not. I hope it's good because uh I need another uh recipe so
it's good. So, spaghetti squash, people, for uh, your alternative. For those of you who like spaghetti. My squash is still smoking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. Tastes like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. The squash doesn't mess up the flavor of the spaghetti sauce. Yes, yeah, so it's it's good. It's good. I definitely recommend it. Now I have another recipe to add to my keto diet. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below or any questions you may have. You see how easy it was because I didn't know what I was doing. I just went by what a customer told me. came out perfect. Very easy. Make your own sauce. Put it on top. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, don't forget to subscribe because there's more videos to come. And, most of all, stay blessed. Bye.